late afternoon, and a southerly buster suddenly dampens Bondi's Christmas cheer. Winds gust up to 40 kilometres an hour. We were sitting in the tower. Gonzo got a call and was from the icebergs. They said, look, there's two guys in trouble. Can you help them? Everyone on the beach today has got a Santa hat on. Doesn't matter where you're from, the good swimmer, the bad swimmer. I'm looking at two Santa hats now drift out in the rip. At the start, they were holding a lilo, so they were kind of fine, but then they let go of the lilo. Yeah, you've lost the lilo. They've all lost the lilo. I've picked the binoculars up and had a look and seen where they are and thought, I've got to go. We just thought, look, they're pommies off their heads, so we thought, look, we've got to go down there and rescue them. We're driving down there to the rescue. We can't even see what's happening in front of us, and we almost run into someone. Seeing the two Santa hats in the rip at Backpackers, straight away, I'm assuming they can't swim. They haven't taken a stroke that I can see, and I can see their hand going up occasionally and down, and our visual on them is getting hampered by the swell and the wind, the rain, and they had drifted a fair bit out. They're in a pretty bad position. And as that was happening, some ladies come running down screaming, saying that she's watched someone drown for the last five minutes. I have these in place with the lilos. The rubber, the rubber ducky will have to go out, though. He's in distress. He's had his hand up for about five minutes. Yeah, we've been watching him. OK. People have called it in for sure. Hey, I'm going for a paddle. Just as I'm taking my jacket off, I notice a police rock up, and then I think, no, a member of the public's rang up. And I knew that the perception was they're tourists in the rip. It's got to be a better way to spend Christmas than rescuing pommies in the driving rain. It's windy and cold, there's blue bottles. I'm not happy at all. Thank God I've got a camera. I'm getting closer to him and I see a camera come out of the water of the guy's hand and a little flash. And I think, who's taking photos in the rip? Straight away, see Reedy's face. And I'm like, what are you doing, you idiot? I'm a lifeguard and I'm with one of Australia's greatest ever surf swimmers, Spot Anderson. We're out here having a ball. Spot's taking photos of me, getting smashed by waves on the lilo. We turn around, next minute we can see police on the beach and Beardy's paddling out to us and it's like, hang on a minute, what's going on here? I'm so pissed off. He sees I'm angry. I said, look where you are. And he started laughing. And I just said, get in. Come on, the police are on the beach. Bondi lifeguards, Jesse speaking. Yeah, mate, we're, 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 we're on it now. That's got a bit blown out of hand. They're about 20 metres offshore and not a kilometre. A few Chinese whispers along the way, but... Yeah, the boys went down to grab them, but they wouldn't jump in on the board. So, it's all good, buddy. Bye. Bye-bye. They're just about to um, launch Lifesaver. La launch Lifesaver 1. They said two people were in distress a kilometre off Bondi. <laughs> 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 oh, I love this place. The boys try to outrun a massive set, but the waves pummel them against the rocks. Miraculously, they clamber to safety. It's absolutely shivered been out there today. The kids are kids will be kids. 10 a.m. and the first victim of the day. It's not difficult to guess who. People we'll go out to Flat Rock, which is really smart when the surf's 10 to 12 foot. And have a look. And that's going to be pretty sore for a while. Is that all you got? I got on the, the, back's, the back's all right. That one's, that one's bad. 14 year old Marco and his mates chose the wrong day to go rock hopping. We were like on the rocks and I like went to turn around and as I was doing that, a massive wave came. Push me, scraping along the rocks. 
13-year-old Alex has suffered multiple lacerations. More disturbing, he's falling in and out of consciousness. He's just going in a little bit of shock, I suppose. He hasn't eaten or had any fluids today, so uh, the body's running on low. Build up a bit of adrenaline, and uh, his, heart rate's, his heart rate's up for 75 for a young bloke. How are you feeling? Give him oxygen just to calm him down, and then just try and hydrate him very slowly. Has anyone got a power rate? No. no? He was standing on the rock and the bomb set came and he was trying to get like out so he didn't get smashed back onto the rocks. Then he leaned into the wave and he got pushed back and like scraped all his foot. So he laid down on the rock in the water and he's like started saying he was dizzy and stuff. Yeah, I know. Just be careful. These things do happen, you know. You learn from uh, your mistakes, mate, you know. You don't want to go for this again, eh? It's a shit feeling. The ammo's going to check you out, all right? Got a few tests. Alex will also need rehydration in hospital. Another victim of the record heat wave. 9am and a dense fog creeps onto the beach. Hi, Charlie! Hello. 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 What do you think about all the fog? I'm no? impressed. Not impressed. We watched this on TV. And every time we watch this, the TV is so nice and shiny. The rare weather event is more than a novelty. For lifeguards, it's becoming a safety issue. This fog's really spooky. I can't see the southern end of the beach at the moment, so it's a little bit uh, got us a little bit on edge. Hoppo is faced with a critical decision. Should he pull down the flags and close the beach to swimmers? You know, liability, if we miss something, they're going to say, why didn't you close the beach? The only thing with pulling the flags is you might get 100 or so people out of the water, but is then everyone just going to swim everywhere? To make matters worse, thousands are about to attempt an inflatable thong world record. Now, to stay very close to shore now with this fog. We might have to close the beach soon if you don't stay close to shore. You've got to close the beach, man. Gotta close the beach. The decision is made. On one of the busiest days, on Australia's busiest beach, Bondi is closed for swimming. We've made the decision now, we're about to clear the beach due to the uh, poor visibility. We can't see anybody in the in the water. We've got jet skis out the back and we're just slowly pulling people back in and making announcements on the megaphones. Do you wanna go in please? Just all the people in the water, the lifeguards have closed the beach due to the fog. Ladies and gentlemen, we have closed the beach, we have pulled the flags down. Our visibility was close to zero. We don't know when we will be putting the flags back up. I do know the event is on hold with the fongs at the moment. We're extremely sorry for this. Your life is very important to me. Thank you. What a beautiful speech. It's like he's going for Prime Minister. 